Hey guys, it's me, Nisha, and I'm coming to you with a single cell vlog. Um, it's kind of like a just an update to let you know how everything is going. As far as like my sickle cell pain, it's it's down really low. Um, and it hasn't been this low in a while, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, and I think I did a video talking about my medicines. I was like at eight or nine medicines. Now I'm down to three. And like I said, all of them weren't like sickle cell medicines. Some of them were sickle cell medicines. Some of them were things that I need to take because my sickle cell irritated it or they irritated my sickle cell. But yeah, so that's down. I don't know if you can see or well, you can now, but I have this big stupid thing on my port. Um, so I think, I don't know if I said this in my last video, but my port has been acting stupid. And I always tell you guys that I have a positional port that my port has an attitude. And why wouldn't it? I have an attitude. But yeah, so my port has an attitude. And when I first got it, it always worked. But then it's like when it got settled into me, it kind of sucked up some of my Nisha and got a little stank attitude. So like it works when I'm in certain positions, like literally. I did a positional a video on positions that help my port. And you know, I'm not the only one that has this problem. A lot of people have these problems with ports. And even with that, I love my port. If it stopped working right now, I would be scheduling to get another one next week. Like, I love it. It's a lifesaver. Um, so, the reason I have this big stupid thing on my port is because they put some Activase in it. And Activase is like, I forgot exactly what it is, but this is how one of the nurses explained it to me. It's like Drano for a port. So, basically, it cleans out everything and... Um, and then it normally makes it start if it's not giving blood because the thing is my port is receiving but it's not giving blood or it's giving blood sluggishly um, or it's getting extremely positional to where it's like a big headache. So when I got out of the hospital, it's been a month now I think since I've been out of the hospital. Um, it was acting kind of weird then, which it normally does. It wasn't anything crazy. But then my last appointment two weeks ago, it was acting stupid. And then so the doctor was like, well, let's put some Activase in it. And I was like, well, they already took the needle out and I don't want to be stuck again. So um, let's just do it at my next appointment, which was yesterday. So they put the Activase in there and it's going to stand there until tomorrow. You cannot flush that stuff into your system. Uh I'm not sure exactly what it'll do to you, but when the kids asked me, I was like, it'll kill me. I, I, they know I was being dramatic. But, yeah, so that's what's going on with my port. Um, it, it basically has the activates in there, cleaning it out and everything. So when I go back tomorrow, they'll suck. It says how much they're supposed to take out. So they'll take that amount out. And then... It'll be, it'll be all good. I've had my port for a little over a year. April, May the year. Um, August, September, October, November. A year and seven months. Yeah. A year and seven months. So, I've had it for a year and a half, basically. And I think I had activates one other time. And that might have been six months ago I can't remember how long ago it was but yeah and then too what I will say about my port is that it also has to do with what nurse does it because it might look like they're doing the same thing but each nurse's technique is different because I have some nurses that no matter how positional how stupid my port acts when they do it it always works. Whatever they do, it works. And there's some nurses that I hate when they come because it's like, oh my God, it never works when they do it. Never. So it, and my doctor gets an attitude sometimes and will say, why don't they just do it right? Because she knows that some nurses it always works for and others it doesn't. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for me right now. I did talk to my doctor 
and I started taking B12 as of yesterday um, because I needed some more energy. Actually, I'm taking the B complex, which means that it has the vitamin C in it too. And she said that it was fine for me to take it. She told me that B, any B or C vitamin is okay, but to stay away from the A, D, and E. Because I don't know if that's just particularly for me, for sickle cell people. I didn't really ask. She just told me to stay away from those, which I really didn't care because I wasn't trying to take those anyway. Um, another thing is I asked her, I talked to her about the whole bone marrow stem plant transplant thing. I really haven't been thinking about like, oh, I should do it. But be, when there's something out there that may be able to cure you or fix you, you're like, hmm, you start thinking about it a little bit. So I was thinking about it. And I mean, of course, I've done my own research, but I just wanted to know her professional opinion like about it and for me. And so she said that um, she really isn't. She knows that it has worked for some people. And I've heard stories of it working for some people. And I've heard, heard stories of it not working for some people. I've heard stories of it making things worse. I've heard stories of people dying in the process. I've heard a lot of stuff. So, But what she said is that she, she wouldn't recommend it. Because she doesn't feel like there's enough successful research and... She doesn't feel like there's enough success. Even though there is some success, she doesn't feel like there is enough success for all the risks that you take with it. And that makes a lot of sense. And that's how Arthur feels about it, my husband. That's how he feels about it. And, I mean, even though it's my body and he definitely said, you know, babe, if that's something that you want to do, he would be by my side. I would take into account how my husband and kids feel because they're the one that, even though I'm in this I'm the warrior they're fighting with me so what they think and how they feel is important so I just wanted to know what she thought I mean I don't and I mean I wasn't thinking about doing it but I just wanted to know about it just know what she felt about it but I just wanted to do a video and say hey and tell you about my poor let you know that my pain is manageable i'm like down i'm taking like my lowest medication which is tramadol um and i'm not having to take it throughout the whole day like i might have to take one in the morning and i may have to take one at night which is amazing and then if i have some pain throughout the day i will take like some aleve or tylenol in between that um and um, today my back, I woke up sometimes because I have scoliosis, so which is curvature of the spine. And sometimes I have like sickle cell pain in my back, which it doesn't make it any better with me having the, the scoliosis. Sometimes I do, even though my pain is down, I have to take some stronger medicine. So I did have to take some Norco today, but I didn't have to take the full dosage. Like, you know how you take a half half of peel, cut it in half or cut it in four, that type of thing. So I took a little this morning and that helped me with my back. And I know I needed to do it because we went on a field trip with AJ and it was a museum, an art museum. We're going to be standing and I didn't want to make the pain worse. So that's it, guys. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm definitely praying for all of you. Um, for those of you, oh yeah, for you single so words, I mean, that don't want to hear about hair, maybe you should hang I was going to say hang up now. Maybe she hit the X button because I'm about to talk about hair. But, yeah, my hair is different, as you can see. Um, got a little quick weave action going on. Um, Arthur likes when I wear, he likes my natural hair, but he also likes when I change up my hairstyles and wear, like, the straight hair sometimes. Um, because I did, before I went natural, I did used to wear this type of hair style. So, yeah, and I actually have a tutorial on me doing this invisible part and all that type of good stuff. So, yeah, if you guys want to see that, that'll, I have to edit it. So, that'll be coming up soon. But that's it for now, guys. I will talk to you later.